This video will be about the basics of rigging. It is always an interesting feat to see how it is done. I will give you a quick explanation how. A lot of people go see concerts and they see a large lighting rig in the air and don't understand how it got there. It's quite simple in theory. What happens at the beginning of any load-in for a concert venue is that the rigger will climb up to the steel structure of the building. They take an elevator or a ladder to get to the catwalk. Down here is where the truss gets built. The rigger will be up here. He will look at the structure of the beams and know what they are rated for. 500 pound load, 1000 pound load, 2000 pound load, or whatever it may be. It takes two riggers to get the job done. The guy in the air and the ground rigger. The ground rigger has a tough job because if this guy drops anything, it could knock him on the head. The ground worker is always wearing a hard hat and is responsible for the other workers in the area to say, hey, there's a guy above working, don't come near me. This rigger will tie off a rope and drop it all the way to the ground. The rigger will assemble his span sets and wire ropes and whatever he needs. Five footers, 10 footers, 20 footers, and attach them to the bottom of the rope. This guy will pull everything up. Now he has all his stuff so he can securely build what is called a point. A concert rig can have 100 points. Some will have six. Depends on the size of the venue, size of the lighting rig, size of the trussing rig. Now down here, the ground rigger has what is called a chain motor or a hoist. He prepares the motor. Everything requires power. There will be a motor at distro attached to power. The rigger will again drop his rope to the ground. The ground rigger will attach that rope to the end of the chain. This motor will have, let's say, 75 feet of chain, which is heavy. This rigger will pull that chain and its hook all the way up. Now, you can imagine this is hard work. They are pulling a lot of chain and they can't drop it. The chain comes up and they hook it into the point they built. Now that's hooked in. This motor has a hook underneath it as well. Now we plug that motor in, turn it on, and hit the up button. Every once in a while, you'll hear a ground rigger yell, chain spill. Chain gathered up too much and has fallen out of the basket and will come whipping out down to the ground. You don't want a chain falling. Now here is our truss. We attach this motor to the truss and we also have another one here to attach to, to the truss with a chain going up to the point. This rig has two points, which means there's two places where the rigger has created a point to drop a rope to bring up a chain. Now you have these motors plugged into power. You turn it on and these motors start climbing. Now we can attach the lights. They lift the truss to about waist height or head height while it's on the ground here and the lighting crew comes in and attaches all the fixtures and gives it the okay. The rigger will say, truss moving and the truss starts moving wherever it will live for the show. And during the loadout, the process is the same, just in reverse. That is rigging in its basic form.